Uh, June 21st, uh, uh, a couple weeks ago, was a uh, 16 year anniversary signing with Dr. Dre, man. Yeah, yeah. That's crazy. Has the relationship upgraded? I've interviewed you like a million times about Dre. Yeah. How's the relationship yeah. now? Dre's cool, you know what I'm saying? I, I never really. He's like, a, I don't know what you, how you describe the point that he's had in his life. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, we had, all of us, is, we had a trio, you know what I mean? Eminem and Dre. Yeah. And like, Dre is to Eminem what Eminem is to 50 Cent. Wow. You know what I mean? So it's just. It's, it's cool, like we'll always be cool, you know. We had too much success together to have any negative energy. Speaking of Eminem, you've been caught. Oh, that's my boy. You know your that. brother for life. That's like your for white ever. brother. Forever. <laughs> and ever. You know what I mean? Em is like, you ever, you don't know that you can have a person come into your life that late and mean so much to you. Mm. Or be consistent so much, you know what I mean? Like there's, there's never been a moment that I felt like he wasn't in my corner. You know what I mean? Like if you had, even creatively, I'd press play and look and see how he actually feeling by his response to the actual music. If I ain't getting nothing off it, I don't even, I scrap, scrap that it. shit. <laughs> Still? <laughs> we gotta find something new to do. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not, cause none of my, like it's, to me all of the, musically, when you're in tune, you gotta get back, you gotta get in tune. Mm. Then once you're in tune with what's going on, it's just a, a thought, it's an idea. Because it comes that fast creatively when you in, in that zone. Like, you know how like, some artists, they, they really got the ability, they train themselves to rap the way we talk. That's right. And they can just <laughs> ramble some shit that feels really good over music so quick that mm. you gotta allow it to, to, to stay there. Like the simplicity is the key to a lot of hit music. It's not like there's, it was so well thought out. It was so uh, well uh, critiqued or developed. Some people think doing it more makes it better. That's right. So like they go, oh, let me rewrite it and then rewrite it again and they rewrite it and that's whack shit to me. Like I think music is fun. I feel like uh, he he didn't let I guess the current state of hip hop change his ways. Oh, him? You and him are like similar in the but same. But how fashion. can you tell him? You want him to change? No, I don't want him to change. But he he he's not changing. He, he I think he goes by like the current state of what's yeah, going on. All it is is production changes. Yeah, yeah. Like it's not a uh, like. Do you think Jay Z's changed in, in any way? He's kind of like assimilated to the kids out there, but. But, but he's still Jay-Z, but he still switches production. his cadence to like... To the production. So he could ride their wave. So they can actually... But this that's important. That you, you want to make music that people enjoy, mm -hmm. then you got to look at the climate of what's going on and see like what's actually happening. I look at my, my music and say, where does this go in the set list, in the DJ set list? Mm -hmm. So like, what do you play this? What plays before this? What plays after this? And if... So I thought you make music that you're not supposed to party to. You're supposed to listen. Yeah, but the thing about you is uh, you had organic circumstances that occurred in your life which upgraded yourself and your music where you allowed, like, history and fate to lead you where you're at. Where, yeah, where you go next. I'm not going to diss Jay-Z. Jay-Z, respectfully, he's, he, he's who he is. He's successful. He made some he great moves. Knew, but like he knew he, who to hang with. No, you didn't have to do that back that's then. That's just being in tune with the business, though. Okay. Like, so. like, look, if you say, look, if this this person's hot for a moment, and you go make a record with the guy when he's hot, and then you go over here and you make a record with this guy when he's hot, and then you make a record right here with this guy when he's hot, you have to sustain being hot enough yourself for them to want to make that record. Yeah, that's right. Right? And then while you're doing that, in the end, when you're hot and those guys mean nothing? <laughs> yes, sir. You don't see that shit happening? Sure. Like, <laughs> Grab Fuck that, and go. <laughs> you can't take that from that nigga, man. Jay do what he wanted to. Like, I think you look at them like they're just stupid. <laughs> you know what I mean? Here you can rap, 
But that's it. You just other than that, you just a stupid nigga. The, the environment is crazy because you see he hurried up and dropped Beyonce. There's mad huh? rumors. Him and Beyonce dropped the album, so Yeah, it was fucked up what they did to Nas. Right? <laughs> that's it's crazy, right? You, you, I know what you did to Nas, Jay. <laughs> that's fucked up, nigga. I, I feel like Nah, he come out on the same weekend. This nigga still slapping him without everybody noticing what's going on. But that was still like, oh, so when your shit coming out? Uh -uh. My shit coming out. <laughs> I ain't heard not one of them records on the radio. <laughs> what? Why the fuck? Why the fuck you do that, man? I be saying fuck that, I do whatever the fuck I want to do, and they be looking at me like I'm grimy for doing that. This nigga be super quiet doing some real grimy shit like this. <laughs> looking and, and see if anybody noticed the grimy shit I just did. You know what I'm saying? You just got a different way of doing things. Are you going to join the, I guess, the, the new standard of, because your album, you're, you're, you're slated to put a new album out soon. Are you going to do the seven song situation? Well, they try, nah, the that's not really album. an album. Okay. Me. Like, I think. To you, that's not an album, seven no. songs. Okay. No. I think if, if seven songs, that's an EP to me. Like, that's, okay. the, the Canaan tape has six songs on it. Mm. You see what I'm saying? That doesn't even count. Like, that's like, the, the um, I'm the man with platinum off of that actual, the, uh, out of the six wow. songs, and you look and you're going, I can do that this weekend. Friday, <laughs> Saturday, Sunday, and it's done. Like, See? you understand what I'm saying? Like, the, the, it, it, and the music that I'm hearing from them is not, if it's not like hit music, it feels like it just, Damn, this shit is crazy. Like don't that. make no sense. Yeah, then why you do that? You, like, would, you would pick like the seven hottest songs if you're gonna do that, because usually it's what why 15, would you, look, 14 records, and then you know there's a couple album cuts. We call them album listen, cuts. Listen, we in the wild wild west right now, so mm. they could change the rules. I, I, like technology, the way people consuming music has changed. So they're looking at it saying, when did wait? When did seven songs become an album? Like. When the fuck did that happen? I guess they're looking at, you know, when we used to go overseas and platinum is a different sales bracket, they, they're saying the environment is different now from sales. I feel like if you sell 150,000 the first week, 200, you're, you're popping. So they're looking at it like that. So it don't make sense to put out, I guess people are just not. They say it doesn't have the same. People life. aren't grasping music the same as before. Attention yeah, attention span is crazy. But if you, that's bullshit. Seven, 12 songs is, is... But that's how they're looking at it. Yeah, because the way it is, one song could carry your artist out where they don't even need to put an album out. They'll, they'll tour off on of one But that's record. it, but that's what I'm saying to you. Yeah. If you put it, you got a hit song out, you don't need... Well, I'm talking about the new kids, like the young SoundCloud kids. That's, that's how they're... Right, that's but their science. this is what I'm saying to you. If you're going... I'm old school. <laughs> I didn't understand this shit for a second. <laughs> And I was looking, going, what the fuck are you talking about? Because <laughs> that's how they're looking at it. Wait, but creatively, look, how could you say that a person built something and call it a classic when it's only seven records? And you're a classic guy. You're not like the new kids. No, look, the Give It to Die Try had 19 songs on it. Mm. It's the maximum length of a single disc playing time. If I can give you. If I can, everything I say works, at that point, that's when you dead right, that's when stars line up for you to meditate. When you came out, you had you had beef with everybody, like you had records. No, it's the same everybody. reason why, look how often you've seen Trey can be. For a guy that's non-confrontational. You've seen him at, go back and forth with Kanye a little bit, right? Back and forth with Jay-Z. You've seen him go back and forth with, uh, Meek Mills, mm. then uh, then the pusher, pusher, and then you got all kind of niggas with lines flying around. You know, like little shit that they said that he just. But, didn't. but what is it you think he would have to to stop it? Because you, you you're the master of all the shit. You'd have like videos, no, it's photos. Just, it's the position that he's holding. And, and when I you come in here, you map out. All right, this nigga could come out. I'm gonna kill him, and I'm gonna kill him, and no, I'm gonna kill him in this. There's certain artists that they become a darling at radio. 
Because you what, just, what, what went on in your head when you saw that it was stopped by another physical force? Like, but I, what, thought the, I thought the artist would really stop the beef. But it's like they don't, he don't even belong in that. <laughs> like he don't belong in the communications between two artists just just rapping and just mm. shit like that. But that wouldn't work with certain people. You see what I'm saying? Like we got kids in our culture that don't understand the shit that's going on. So they look and they're going, what? Like they wouldn't <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> they don't understand. So Wait, they, like one of the rumors where beef would stop is they don't they don't want to mess up their album sales in the future. So Whoever is their mentor or whoever is the head rapper with the little rapper, like Lil Wayne would stop beefing with Jay Z because it's best to just stop than fuck up your future sales or your your. That, that, that's, that's some of the rumored what stuff from back the, in the days. I don't I don't see that though. You don't see that at all. You'd rather mm -mm. it just go straight up and it wouldn't Compete. really affect like, shit. It's gonna make the music better. Okay, that's what it does. It, it look look if you're going. Pusha T was dead in pocket on that because you, you he offered information to the public before that they maybe. didn't know that was real. And when that happens, they go, wait, they heard the line and go, wait, that was true? And they go, oh shit. So it's really people's interest in Drake is what made the line so good. Mm. It, it became as important as he was to the actual culture at that point because he's using true statements. You know what I'm saying? And then you go in from Drake's place, he can make a song that sound like God wrote it right now, and they're gonna listen to it and go like this. It's cool. You just tattooed their face, B. Like, Everything is like it's ridiculous right now. I don't know what's going on. But, but it's a maybe bit. I'm too old school for it. I don't nah, know so I, I'm way too old school for tattoos in my face. <laughs> way too old school for that. <laughs> the last what? place I tattoo is my face. That's, that's insane. Uh, listen, when I tattoo my face, <laughs> it's over. I've already been sentenced to life <laughs> several times. Don't even there are several life sentences. Then I tattoo my face. I thought Mike Tyson shit was shocking when he first did that. That shit yeah. shut shit down. Like Mike shit ain't shit now. <laughs> <laughs> that shit was popping when Mike did it the first time. That's a lot of tattoos in the face. It's not the first. You might not have made the best choice, Mike. You might want to go back and change your tattoo. Yo, I've had every young kid through my show, like from from six nine. I mean, everybody. I've told you this. All these little kids look up to you, and they get their energy from the mixtapes and, and and everything. The whatever, whether it's the gangster the, image or whatever. What, what do you think about that? You putting the, the backpack gangster, on all these kids. It's not the gangster in, image. Well, so explain, so what, explain is, what these kids, kids are, are doing, man. These kids are coming out of environments where they have strong influences ahead of that. I'm just the closest thing that they see in entertainment culture that relates to where they're coming from. It's yeah. like when Chief Keith come around for the first time. I fall in love with Chief Keith because I look at him and I see that he's just, he just has Chicago influences. You see what I'm saying? And said the shit that he really feel, like fake true religion genes, shit I don't like. <laughs> I'm not gonna notice whether you're true religion genes I know, or, real but or he... fake, because I don't care enough to look at you, Jesus. I'm just gonna assume they're true religion genes. But he watching the nigga in the environment and saying, you ain't got no fucking money. How you get them jeans? Hmm. Hold them the fake ones. Wow. You see what I'm saying? And this is the shit that he writing. So I, I like that because our culture allows people under circumstances that are, are, are fucked up or under rough circumstances to make it. Yeah. Six Nine kind of like took baby mom shopping, which is, I feel like he got your textbook and he followed what you've done in the past and now he's at Gucci. Yeah, but you know, look. What, what, do, you, what do you say about that? I think that? It's, they're different. Like, they, they are wilder. No, no, I saw, I saw that clip, I was like. <laughs> That's classic, I don't care what you <laughs> What the fuck, bro? How you gonna explain this one to mommy? I just, I didn't even understand. I felt like, oh. <laughs> Shit. I think Remy Ma came on my show. She was kind of pissed that you guys was having a good time. Oh, considering yeah, yeah. back in the day, she was hiding with us 
wild fat Joe. Yo, was yeah, the fun. <laughs> she was Remember, she came to our show secretly in the Bronx to hang with us. Oh, with listen, fat no, Joe no, no, no. That was. <laughs> she did lean back, right? Oh, she did that at, at the show. When we was at the show. Oh shit, I forgot Cause, about that. Cause that shit was hot. That record was. I wish that record was my record. <laughs> when that shit came out, I was like, yo, this motherfucker. This is why even when they get into, like when he's in the, uh, the Drake shit, mm. I didn't write music. Mm. And he said things, I just looked at him like, what's wrong with this thing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And the, yeah. the, the musical side, because I'm going, he, he just couldn't get, let's say this, I, I saw that he can get distracted from what the main, what the actual issue is. Yeah. Because Drake was his issue. And it wasn't any music coming for Drake, it was, <sighs> he was talking about everything but Drake. I saw him, he, Drake mentioned ARF, he had something with ARF. And then it was like, everybody mentioned, like you can get off a, uh, you gotta shoot the person who sent the shooter to you, not the shooter. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Because there'll be new shooters to come. Instead, he's going <coughs> to go get the shooter and to go get the shooter, and it's just gonna always be someone new coming in your direction because you got the source of it. It's still sending you shit. Triple X, man, like 50s, you know, all the kids wouldn't hear what you gotta yeah. say about that. It's unfortunate. I don't know much. I didn't actually yeah. talk. I didn't meet him. Like but yeah, you know, you, you didn't have to meet him. But just seeing, like, reading, and you, you're high, you're heavy in social media. Like, yeah, I'm, I look. I see crazy. a lot of the posters. I, I I feel like if you loved him as much as you do when he passed, mm. ahead of that he would have been a superstar. You see what I'm saying? Because now you can't miss him. Mm. Fuck that! I don't want you post. Let me tell you in advance. <laughs> Don't post shit after I'm dead around this motherfucker. I want you motherfuckers to go on with your day because <laughs> that's not how this shit's supposed to play out. I'm here now. Love me now. Yeah, so you're, a le you're a legend, though, man. Yeah, you're you know. out of here. Like, I've seen murals of you in Africa. Like, I've seen people physically get changed and their lives is like... Some people, like, run, I met this Russian guy. He had, like, G on it, like, all over his body. Like, you've changed people's lives. There's this a difference. You yeah, know what I'm saying? But you know, like, look, I, um... It's, it's insanity out there, man. It, when, it's, it's sad because he's young. He's a young, you know, kid. He's just really getting off into his career, really. In a lot of places, he had number one album, but they wouldn't cover it because of his, his legal issues. Mm. You know, when he, and you see Spotify switch up, now they all jump on the dick, go back to putting the shit in the fuck out of here with that shit, man. I don't, I'm like, man, take my shit off of your playlist, bitch. After I'm writing my will now. <laughs> I'm gonna put my motherfucking shit on your playlist after I'm dead. Get the fuck trying to get money off of my CD. You know? Two questions, the last two questions. You've been seen with Eminem at Coachella, Governor's Ball, a couple, you know, you've yeah, been with him yeah. countless times. But is there something in the works? Is it planned or is it just organically? You just, Eminem's in town, I'm gonna fuck with my boy. Or, cause you know, everybody wants to see, you know, you, it's you, you've done everything. Is there gonna be an Eminem 50 Cent album? Like, what the fuck? I, who knows now that there's only seven songs on the album. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure this has always been in the works and I, I can't see it not happening. Like, I don't, what would it sound like? It'd be, we did so many cool, you know, it's like I found a way to collaborate with Slim Shady. Mm. That oh, version of so him. Oh, so now you got to collaborate. With Eminem. Wow. Because when we did, we did records, we, a lot of times we did uh, Psycho or mm. Gatman and Robin. Like it was not the Marshall Mathers side of, mm. of him. That, when he does that, is different thing. Like he, got more, he got music in the archive, like in his computers. He had a song that felt like Stan that was written in that period. Mm. That he don't, you got mad shit, like this super hot shit that he don't play, he don't. Look, when we did Relapse, we did Relapse one and two. My favorite music was on two. Oh, wow. The music that we did, we collaborated on a lot, a lot of joints on the second one. But when he didn't like the response that he got from Relapse, mm. he went to the recovery. So he just, that whole album is just, he got an album just sitting there. It, it got, we featured on already. And then, um, 
It's a whole bunch of stuff. Like it's it's different. Like M is so. How, how can you say like it? He's critique. He's his toughest critic. Oh, yeah, that's right. You know what I'm saying? Like he critiques himself, and you look and you go. I always look at the shit and go, yo, did you hear what they just put out? Like, what the new shit is? <laughs> I'm like, this shit is garbage, man. You can put this shit out right now. What are we doing? 